using this blow dryer by hot tools and i like this brush blow, blow dryer now i used to have a comb blow dryer but every time i use a comb my comb would literally break and so I kept getting tired of breaking cones and then having to buy new ones and then they break and I buy another one and it breaks. So I finally decided to just go with a brush. I never bought a comb again, but I was like, I really need to buy a comb brush um, just because I feel like it gets my roots a lot better than the brush. Like the brush gets my hair, but it doesn't get my, my roots, which is where I need to get straight and dry the most. So, yeah um and i i like my hair to be straight i mean if it would stay like this all day like i would wear it like this but it, it doesn't stay like this like it'll stay like this for a little while and then it'll get puffy and yeah i mean i wish it kept this pattern all day but no it will not keep this pattern all day it usually will like get real puffy and hard to comb through. So I just go ahead and um, straighten it out and wrap it up and let it be that. So uh, we can go ahead and get to it. I'm a very minimal person. I don't use a lot of products on my hair. People always ask me a lot, what do you use on your hair? What do you use on your hair to make it grow? I don't use a lot of things. I use this um, Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive heat protection spray and um then i have this um paul mitchell hair serum um i do like this for once i finish blow drying my hair and i get ready to straighten it i'll put that on there and coconut oil um weightless hydrating oil mist it is really good for giving your hair like a good shine after you've already straightened it so like I said, we'll go ahead and get to it. I use like three things um, after I get done um, washing my hair. So like I said, I'll uh, usually straighten it out um, prior to drying it. I like to kind of go ahead and just get all the tangles out. And honestly, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. That's kind of why I stopped going to um, hairstylists because for one, when they did silk press on my hair, the silk press don't last long. Um, two, I kind of need to, I have to wash my hair kind of like every week. And then for three, like I said, silk press people can know can be very expensive. I would rather buy my own products and do it at the house myself. It just saved me more money in the end. And then for two, for some reason, every time I go to a stylist, they don't never use one of these combs for my hair. They always want to use like a comb like this. And this going through this, that, no, 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 that's not gonna work. So um, I usually, I use this and it works so good. I had got to a point to where this one woman, she was um, trying to detangle my hair with a small comb. And I wanted to ask like, Come on, like you a hairstylist? Like, uh, I know y'all have combs like this because like that was hurting my head and I'm not even like a tender headed person, but um, baby, that hurt, that hurt real bad. So um, anyways, um, yeah, I use one of these combs. It goes straight through my hair and I usually don't have no problem detangling my hair. But like I said, a lot of people don't use these combs. Um, well, hairstylists, I noticed that I went to, they don't use these combs. And a good thing to try to do too, that I noticed is they would not um, detangle my hair when it's wet. The type of hair that I have, it is best to try to detangle it, detangle my hair while it's in the water. That way when you get out, a lot of the tangles and stuff are already out. They weren't even doing that. So yeah, I, I got to a point to where I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna, I just buy my own stuff and just do my own hair here at the house because I'm not finna be sitting up in that chair in pain, knowing I'm not even a tender headed person like that. But um, it was looking like I was real tender headed because of the way, that, I mean, just because of they didn't have the combs that, you know, 
that I use when I do my when I do my hair. So, um, yeah, y'all. I just was like, I can just do my own hair here at the house instead of going to somebody. And that's what I do. It's getting summertime now, so honestly, it's about time for like no, no, no. break. No, I'm, I'm recording, Cayenne. What are you doing? Cayenne. Hey, listen, what this boy? Hold on. So, anyways, um, I would love to get braids too, especially because it's um hit, you know, it's about to be hot outside. So I feel like braids for me would be a lot better. But um I don't even know if braids will last in my hair that long. Just because I get dandruff so eat like fast on my head. Like that's why I said I have to wash my hair like weekly or at least every other week. It can't be no two weeks that I go without washing my hair. Like I'm gonna have to wash my hair before then, so. <laughs> kind of um they still kind of wet so that's okay that's okay what's up what's up what's up um can you buy me some um maybe maybe yeah if i stop interrupting yeah okay bet. but you need to stay inside the I'm gonna go back on this whole side and try to get to my roots a lot better um, than, than how they are now because, yeah, I'm gonna try to get to the roots a lot better. Then dip me under
This is gonna get it. Um, and like I said, I still got things like, especially in the back, part of my roots that are kind of still wet. But like I said, I'm not gonna complain about it because for the most part, it, it's fine. So we'll leave it like this. This is okay. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the next section so I can actually straighten my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this up. I'll leave that clamp like that. And like, yeah. So, here's this part. And like I said, I'm not gonna spray anything on it or nothing. I'm not gonna put no oils or nothing on it until after we get done. feel like if you want to get a good silk press the blow dry is what makes your silk press i feel like if your blow dry does not come out right your silk press is just not gonna be right no matter what the blow dry i feel like it is what makes the hair it just too i really want to get it cut and i'm talking about cut like cut like neck uh maybe right here i really want to cut it it's just time for a good cut i haven't had it cut now last time i washed it i did trim it 
but um i haven't had like a really really good cut in a long time so it's definitely time for me to get my hair cut um so yeah hopefully and i'm gonna be honest that is the only reason you will catch me at um well now that's the only reason you'll catch me at a hair salon because i don't like cutting my own hair at home so um yeah if i go to a stylist it's pretty much so i can get like a steam treatment which i could buy that um a steam machine from Amazon and do my own steam treatment here at home. But every once in a while, I do like to go to a stylist just so I can get um, like a very deep condition and a good um, steam treatment and also to get it trimmed. And like I said, next time I end up going, I may just, um, I may just cut it instead of trimming it. Cause it's definitely time for a cut and as you guys can see my signature thing now is um parting it down the middle and just leaving it like that so i used to do the side part and then for some reason i don't know i honestly I can't even tell you when I started doing the part straight down the middle. I guess I kind of just started doing it. Yeah, and I'll never get it like completely right because I don't have one of them ragtail combs. Like obviously this is a ragtail comb, but like it ain't one of them like real, real, real skin move. But I'll, I'll do the best I can with what I got and I ain't never every time oh wait hold on baby every time I go to a hair store I'm be honest with you I don't even never think about grabbing a rag tail comb so yeah I'm gonna actually have to which I'm glad I did this. I'm going to have to go through my hair again in the back with the blow dryer. So I'll do that and then we'll get to flat ironing. Okay, so I had to go back through. Like I said, I, I, even though I use the brush blow dryer, it sometimes just does not get my hair. It, like I said, it looks straight, but all up in here, it's just sometimes it just won't get my roots so i'll go back i went back through that so now we'll get to the um to the um flat iron part so like i said a lot of people always ask me like what do you put on your hair what do you use on your hair um as you guys can see like i pretty much i didn't put nothing on it before i blow dried it but i am gonna use this heat spray it's just an olive olive oil heat protection spray and so I'll spray a little bit of this and I just spray it some of everywhere. And I lightly do it cause this can make your hair very heavy with oil quickly. So don't like to use a lot of it. Um, like I said, I usually use a little bit of this um, Paul Mitchell hair serum, but like I said, I don't like to weigh my hair, weigh my hair down with a lot of oils because it takes away like I said the volume and just like right now how my hair kind of has like a little shake to it if I put too much oil in my hair my hair ain't finna move at all so um yeah but I I'm gonna say if you a lot of people ask what do I use to make my hair like this um even like and like i said i still struggle with like i'll wash my hair and i'll still have dandruff now i'll like try to scratch it out 
before I wash my hair. Um, I've tried like a tea, tea tree, uh, Paul Mitchell shampoo, the green one. I've tried that. It does make your hair um, have like a refresh uh, feeling after you use it, but it just still doesn't like. I haven't just honestly ran into a good shampoo for me, honestly, that's, that does like cleanses the hair. Like after I use it, I don't see like no dandruff in my hair at all. So um, I haven't used a shampoo that's, that's like that at all yet. So like I said, y'all, I use some of everything. Um, I, like I said, I don't get braids or anything because I used to get braids when I was smaller. But the thing I've noticed with braids is braids are not for everyone. And I know when you have braids and you have them up for so long, of course, <coughs> that smoke for me. Of course, you're going to have some um, hair that's going to come out with the braids sometimes just from having them in for so long and hair that you have not been able to comb out. But I've noticed like when I was smaller, the times like I did have braids, like it would be a little bit extensive um to how much hair that i had um come out with the braids so i have not had braids in a very long time i don't even get sew-ins and like I, I mean honestly you know if i had the money and i could get sew-ins i would but it's like why would i i feel like i'm one of them that would have like the sewing in for a couple of days or a week and I'll it'll I'll be itching to take it down after I didn't spend all that money. So I typically just <coughs> wear my natural hair. That's it. I just <coughs> wear my natural hair. Um uh, I have colored it before. And I thought about going back and getting me some color. Um, now, one thing I have said I was gonna invest in is like some wigs, some lace fronts, because those are like, um, I mean, like you ain't gotta do the most as far as like, um, with all the braiding and stuff. But I have said I was gonna give me some wigs. You know, just in case I want to switch switch it up sometimes. And um like I said, do something different, especially with the summertime coming. My real hair is gonna sweat out fast. I don't even wear my hair down um as often in the summertime. So the only time you really see me wear my hair down a lot is in the winter time and that's because like you know obviously that's silk press season i call it it's uh or everybody call it uh and it's just like a lot well right now we still kind of in the season of silk press because it's kind of springtime so um well it still seems like it's winter sometimes but you know spring is not like too too hot but baby when coming up in the summer I know I'm not yeah, this hair gonna be up, clamped up with a clamp, because like I said it'll sweat out. It'll sweat out too fast. And I that's why I said I don't go to hairstylists as often because I will just be wasting. I'm not gonna say wasting my money. Cause I mean, some people, well my grandma, she always be saying I got a growing hand. But I don't feel like I got a growing hand. I think sometimes, I mean, you can grow your hair depending on how you take care of it. But I also feel like it's a hereditary thing. Um, and I feel like sometimes if your hair um, is meant to be a certain length, then that's the length it's going to be. But I mean, um, <coughs> that's not the case for everybody. A lot of people don't take care of their hair and they de and it gets damaged. They start to take care of their hair and it grows back. 
and it be very healthy. So, like I said, it's not the case for everybody. You know, the product that, that works for you, the um, your shampoo that works best for your your hair and the products. But like I said, I love these products. If you're just looking for something to maintain, um, cause I used to just use these products too before I just completely stopped going to people like every two weeks to get my hair done. I would use this to maintain. So like, <coughs> I mean, if I didn't go every two weeks, <coughs> she would at least schedule me for once a month. And so, um, I would just use these products that I'm using now just to maintain my hair um, until I was able to go back to her and see her. And like I said, I typically use heat on my hair all the time. And um, I mean, I don't really have no breakage or I noticed that my curl pattern is still is uh, kind of much stays the same as well. So maybe it is because, uh, like I said, I do use this heat protectant um, by Silk Elements. So yeah, but whenever I wash my hair and stuff, um, it's still pretty much uh, my curl pattern. Whenever I wet my hair and everything, it still stays I mean the same. So. I don't have to, um, use, like, anything, um, or, like, uh, me using a lot of heat, because I know a lot of people like to stay from heat, because, you know, they say heat damages hair, but for me, that hasn't been the case, because I, um, do um straighten my hair mostly every time i wash it there are a couple of times where i'll like um do a twist out and leave it in the curl pattern but that's not often because just because of the <coughs> maintenance of it the maintenance for me to keep my hair straight is a lot better than trying to do the natural and leave and do the twist outs and all that. That's just very time consuming for me in the morning time. And with a kid, uh, especially a <clears throat> one year old, <clears throat> when I'm getting up in the morning time for work, I don't I don't have time. I don't have time to be trying to um, do a lot to my hair. <clears throat> so yeah. I do not have a lot of time to be trying to do stuff to my hair whenever I um get up in the morning time, so. And I know some people do the follow thing with the comb I just don't even do that. I, I typically just kind of just do it with the comb afterwards. Like I said, for me straightening my hair and washing it and all that, sometimes it takes me like two hours. It can be very, very time for something. <clears throat> But yeah, even with me doing my hair like this. Now, like with the hair, and I will say, I did end up shedding a lot of hair um, after I had Josiah. It's the postpartum shedding. Now, it didn't shed right away. It was like once he turned like a couple months old, my hair was shedding really bad. Um, it got, my hair was shedding so bad to the point it made me almost want to cut it off and start over but typically with postpartum hair shedding even if you 
even if you do <clears throat> go and you um and go and you cut your hair sometimes the shedding is literally gonna still like be there now i'm gonna tell y'all the thing that helped me the most was the sea moss um sea moss has helped me with a lot of different things i will say but um <clears throat> if you want to stop the shedding with that um hair shedding stuff i will say i even use that as like um with my shampoo so when i wear my shampoo but like i used it as like a conditioner i know you can use it for several different things like on your skin you can put it in your mix it with drinks or you can do like me and just straight up eat it uh out the jar but um i actually after i wash my hair i would actually get it and like um use it as like a conditioner on my hair and um then wash it back out and you guys i don't know what was going on but i guess maybe between me eating it and also putting it on my hair um i don't know that it was just something that i was trying but i noticed that the shedding did stop so that would be something if somebody is out there struggling with the postpartum hair loss is to try the sea moss um because yeah that may work for you they said i noticed with me it seems like it did i don't know whether it could have just been the timing and because my postpartum shedding lasted i don't know it lasted for a while i know for weeks and weeks and probably was like at least a month or two like i said my hair was just shedding and shedding and shedding and shedding and it just seemed like it was <laughs> gonna never stop and um I promise y'all I was getting to the point to where like I was like okay I'm finna just cut all this stuff off and um and I ordered that sea moss also too because I was breastfeeding Josiah so it just helped with like um I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you and I'll make another video on that but as far as like breastfeeding and stuff a lot of people take different type of supplements the best thing you can do is drink water a lot of water tons of water um also do the body armor drinks because i did notice a difference with that do the body armor drinks and also do um I'm, I'm gonna be i know it's a little impossible when you're breastfeeding but if you haven't noticed that whenever you breastfeed you go to sleep and you wake up from a nap and then like you just kind of be like engorged and so um yeah that worked but then like i said also the sea moth so all those different things sleep getting plenty of sleep eating a lot of um like you know good healthy food um body armor water if you're breastfeeding because i just stopped breastfeeding josiah recently um and he <coughs> still does it every now and then, like at night. But as far as like full-time breastfeeding him, I don't do that no more.
And now I'm kind of rushing because I have to go pick um, Josiah up for bacon. And I have to have him picked up by six, and I think it's four something. So I'm in a big, big rush. Not too bad of a rush, but I just may not be able to take my time with um, party like I want to. I'm having to do a little bit bigger parts than I did on the other side, and that's cool. I can always go back to it. trying to still make time to party, y'all. Uh, it's like one of those things where I may not be able to go at like two or three times. And that's the thing, I want those baby bliss flat irons. And I always be saying I'm gonna order them, I'm gonna order them, I'm gonna order them. And I still not have not ordered no flat irons. But um, those are the ones that the stylist that I go to whenever I do go get my hair trimmed and washed and stuff, um, she uses and they are so good. I mean, I have these chi flutters and for the most part, they do what they supposed to do, but I can tell the difference in between when I'm using these and whenever I use, um, titanium plates on my hair. So, now, Kaye, where my, what are you doing? I'm finna finish my hair so we can go.
I am done flattering my hair. This is the finished product. Well, the finished thing with the finished thing. So, um, yeah, for the most part, it's, it's done. And I'll try to get a video. Yep, so this is the finished, how it looks finished. Um, it's pretty straight and <clears throat> it may be a while again before I um, flatter my hair again. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna flatter it, but this is how it looks right now. Okay, so I wanna thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you on the next video. Bye.